Winds can be a source of death, yes. But they are actually also a source of mercy. Allah Azza wa Jal continues the next two oaths, one nashirati nashra. And the winds that, that serve to spread all over, they spread. Nashr literally means you take a bunch of seeds, you throw them on the ground. What happens to the seeds? They spread in random directions, right? So Allah speaks about the winds that carry and disperse. What the ulama of tafsir have concluded from this is that the winds carry and disperse the clouds. Because the clouds, wherever they go, what's going to fall? Rain. And rain is the source of life on this earth. No rain, no life. Drought means death. So the winds that were the source of death in two first, the first two oaths are now beginning to be the source of what? Of life. And now we know even better. Now we know winds don't just carry the, wind, the, the clouds around. What else do they carry with them? The pollen. The source of vegetation. Pollen travels from one place to the other by means of winds. Right? Those of you that have bad allergies know that pretty well. It's actually a mercy of Allah. Right? Which is why we're reminded to say Alhamdulillah, right? <laughs> Subhanallah. Anyway, when nashirati nashra, Allah Azza wa Jal spreads these, these clouds out. Now when you think of spreads, cloud spreading or pollen falling, you would think that this is random. You would think that this division of the clouds is going that way, not this way, or the drop fell here, not there. This is random. They call it the random acts of mother nature. We know there's no such thing. These are precise, calculated acts of who? Of Allah Azza wa Jal. So he says, فَالْفَارِقَاتِ farqa, Those who make very precise divisions. It's gonna fall here, not here. This land will remain dry, this land will get water. فَالْفَارِقَاتِ farqa. Two things have been given to us so far. These winds, they bring about rain, they bring about life, and also they bring about what? Death. Both things.